to another installment of 5 Minute Licks. I'm Leon Todd. Today we're going to be breaking down a few little ideas by the one and only Tommy Boland, one of the great forgotten guitar heroes of the 70s. Tommy was renowned for kind of multiple things during their heyday, whether it was their solo albums like Teaser and Private Eyes, whether it was their work with the James Gang, whether it was their work with Deep Purple on the album Come Taste the Band or on Billy Cobham's Spectrum album, which introduced us all to the track Stratus, one of the all time great kind of jazz rock funk jam tracks. I was personally introduced to Tommy on the Deep Purple album Come Taste the Band. And there's one track that stands out in particular. There's this kind of little medley on there. There's a beautiful Glenn Hughes ballad called This Time Around that segues into this instrumental called Ode to G. And here's the intro riff. <laughs> What's happening there to my ears is we're making use of the E Dorian mode. So we're going to start with the low E, then we're going to play the note B at the second fret on the A string and the note F sharp at the fourth fret on the D string. So that's the root, the fifth and the ninth. <laughs> The thing that really makes it Dorian is we're going to hit the low E again, then we're going to hit C sharp, that is the natural sixth, then we're going to hit G, which is the minor third. The next section of the riff, you start the same, but the ending notes would be G, F sharp and C sharp in that order. So all up you get this. next is really cool. There's a little guitar melody that kind of dips into the melodic minor mode. I personally like to think of the melodic minor mode as a Dorian mode with a natural seventh and you can hear Tommy hit that natural seventh which is a D sharp note or an E flat if you prefer. I would say D sharp in this particular key. It sounds like this. <laughs> What we're doing to start off is we are hammering on from fret 9 on the G to fret 11 on the G. So that's E to F sharp. We're then going to do a semitone bend on that F sharp. We'll come down to our D sharp, which is fret 8, and then we'll hit the root note E at fret 9 on the G, and then we'll hit the fifth, which is fret 9 on the D string. That's a B note. So this. <laughs> Next up, the song pivots to the four chords, so it's going to be an A major. Again, E minor to A major sounds like E Dorian, and there's this very simple pentatonic lick in here. But the ending, as you heard there, you're bending an F sharp into a G and then releasing it. The very last part, the kind of turnaround section, I think is really, really cool. Tommy outlines a C7 chord and then to a B7 chord, but you're kind of trilling on the open G to the second fret. So you get the notes C, that's fret three on the A string. You've got E, which is fret two on the D string, and you've got B flat, which is fret three on the G string. Then you're gonna do that open to two trill. So you get this. <laughs> So what I'm playing there was I'm bending the 15th fret on the B string by a whole tone, releasing it and then hitting fret 12 on the B. And then I'm coming back down onto the G string. I've got fret 14 and 12, and then I finish at fret 14 on the E. That whole structure just kind of repeats as a blues. And you can hear that this definitely would have started off as a jam. There is some of that jazz rock style harmony in there where Tommy's playing a little bit of melodic minor. I don't know if he was thinking melodic minor or he was just hitting that major seventh interval in there because it sounded cool. I'm probably going to guess the sounded cool aspect of it. Go and check out that album, Come Taste the Band. To me, it's a proto funk rock jazz fusion, weird parallel universe, deep purple thing that happened. And Tommy Bolin 
really, really put out so much amazing music in their short-lived career. I would highly recommend Teaser in particular from their solo selection. Go and check it out. Try these riffs and licks out. Let me know what you thought in the comments, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.